Good day everyone, this is Dash the most handsome, yekable, Africanicious, adrenaline pumping husband. And as usual, I will have my most scintillating pepperoni sugarlicious hot baby girl. On today's show, I'm Joker Tolu and Cetro, and we are always happy having you coming back every time to the Cetro's Blood family. Yeah, in case you're not subscribed, please subscribe and press the notification. But I want to say thank you to all that have been liking, commenting, sharing, tweeting, and retweeting. Please don't stop. A big thank you goes to all our patrons, and you can actually be part of our patrons for as low as $3 per month. Yeah. So today, what are we talking about? We've seen these various situations, challenges around the globe. Children, women, youths are not left out. And that's why we came across this woman having triplets. And they were living in very bad condition. The children and every other thing needed help and care. And you've known that right here on this channel, we have a program termed African Youth Development Strategy, a program in which we help you to develop skills. This don't really fall in place with that, but we just have to. So one of our subscribers and one of our supporters on the African Youth Development Strategy, Madam Wumi by name, reached out to us asking for how we can help verify the authenticity of this particular story based on the video that was sent to her by someone. So we decided to carry out an investigation and we discovered that this woman was living in where we can call a shanty. And the baby's life and the likes, they cannot be properly taken care of in that kind of a situation. No bed to lie on, no good accommodation, water flooding the house where they have triplets. And they just gave birth to these uh, kids just in September. So we decided to carry out what you are going to be seeing in the video now, just to help our community. And that is the way we can rescue the world by empowering them. I'm here with them. The triplets are doing great. They are doing fine. The mother is taking good care of the children. And after the test and the likes, there was not much medical challenge because all they just need is the support for them to move from their house and to get what their mother will be doing to take care of them. I think that's just basically what we just need to rally around and do for them. So the triplets, one is at the back. One is at the back, sleeping. So this is, okay, this is one of them. And this is the third. This is the third. So all we just need now is to ensure that they get a um, large quantity of food. Food and pampas. You understand? She be called food and pampas. Flags. Okay. Large quantity of food, pampas, and the lights. So, where are the flags? Be 3,000 my flags now. So, before they leave here, I'll, I'll get them, I'll give them money for the flags. Um, for the pampas, let me even look. Let me just get them pampas around there so that. The Uber bus, the Uber I'm going to call for them, they can help them to carry some things. So what about if we just get them a pack of food before they leave here? Yeah? I think that would make sense. Wow, okay, so I'm in one beautiful store here. Yeah. I'm getting all the necessary stuff for the triplets that I'm showing you on this channel. So we are getting them. Sorry, can I have... Let me show what I'm getting. Um, I got them a flax. The flax... Although you are going to see the receipt, this, the flax is uh, 7,005. At least this one can take the triplet, even if they want to eat like a uh, man. So, I have the pampas. How many are inside this one? 105. 105. So, 105 pampas in one. I got two. Two pack of this. So, it's something interesting. Maybe I will leave the name of this store so that in case you want to patronize them, you can come around. God they, gives children they seem to have uh, everything that you need for your baby. What else? Aha, uh -huh, now this is. I got. How can you read that up? Okay. I got. Uh, milk, one pack. I got nan one. Because the mother, there is no way you. Those of you that are saying uh, breastfeed, breastfeed. That is, unless you want to turn to a cow. There is no way she can breastfeed three children at once. So I got a carton. A full carton of this so I think with this, this is that we can help our community anytime we see people like this we just assist them and 
make the world a better place. So, in your own life, what have you done to assist others? So, you are welcome to Wisdom again. God's Give Children's World. This is God's Give Children's World. So, bye bye. We've done all the medical checkup and the likes and whatever drugs we bought for them. Now, we decided that since uh, they will need hot water, we bought them these flax. So the price for this flax, you are going to be seeing the receipts. The price for this flax, at least this one will take the three of them, is for 7,500 Nigerian Naira. Okay? So, we decided to, you can't expect the mother to be breastfeeding all of them because that's a whole lot. So we got Nan one. Um, a full pack of Nan one. That's 10. I think it's 10 or 12 pieces. Whatever number that is there, at least we, we've done something nice. So these are our babies that are going to be eating something nice. You understand? And uh, apart from that, they need to take care of cleaning up and all the like. So we got this one. In each of these, we have 105 or 100 and something. So we bought two of these so that they can be smelling good. I would have bought wipe. Don't think that I don't know how to take care of children. I would have bought wipe, but um, I was managing the money so that we can pay for their transport back home. So with that being said, you are going to be seeing the receipt of everything that I've done with this beautiful children. So my prayer is that they live healthy, stay healthy. They are going back to the village somehow for some time so that they can have people to assist them because they don't have people to just assist them. And we can't afford to give them a nanny. <laughs> it would have been fine if we can just give them a nanny to take care of them. But since we don't have the money to afford to give them a nanny, they are going to the village, let them eat fresh. They will be showing us video about this, our beautiful kids from the village. So. We thank God for what God has helped us to do. So, I have a So, this is people from African Youth Development Strategy. Someone from African Youth Development Strategy saw the matter and brought it to us for us to assist. And we are so grateful. You, no problem. Uh, no problem. No problem. So, so my people, they are they are going back to their base now. So, can I just say bye bye. Say bye bye to everybody. Bye. Say bye bye. Yeah, Ben. So, with all said and done, you've seen the plight of the children, the triplets, and the mother before. Uh, this our lovely. Uh, subscriber came on the scene with some other global friends that are really interested in helping people not mr cetro's clientele that we help and do um so, so what they decided to do was to say okay since our responsibility is towards youth empowerment they now contributed a particular amount towards this what towards this particular woman and they wanted us to help investigate so that Every cobble is properly what utilized to take care of those children. Then we put on our thinking cap. And you know, on this channel, we don't support giving people physical money. We don't want to turn Africans to beggars because Africans are not beggars. What Africans need are what? Empowerment. So we decided to do three things. Number one, because we saw the situation of those children, we discovered that they needed to be fed that night very well and they needed to be fed for sometimes so based on the video you have seen we bought them food and a whole lot now the next thing is to what to empower them so that they don't keep coming and begging for arm um, begging for help so what they needed is what a house and a store where they can sell and they can do business to take care of these children. Yeah, because the mother of this triplet, she's a caterer, although she might need advanced training in catering. That, that's where uh, we can come in. So by the time we are able to get them a, a store where she can be selling, and the husband is a organizer, so the man should have a place close to them. By the time 
they are able to produce things nice. So when we show their place, people will be able to say, for the sake of these triplets, let me patronize this woman. Let me patronize this man. And we feel by so doing, if they are able to maintain uh, maybe what they are producing, all their catering products and their cakes, their uh, voice and everything, people will be patronizing and people will be doing for organizing with the man so that they'll be able to keep a, a we up with the responsibility of taking care of these uh, children because I know they really need a lot of sex. I know the funniest of is that they have three boys at once. So what we have just told the man is that, hell no. The man is a organizer and is attaching with someone very far on the island while they live on the mainland. We've advised the husband to look for a place where he can be doing his job and be alone. With that, he will be able to get money to take care of the family. So, this is just a situation report to tell you that we saw this case. One of our lovely subscribers showed us and we went to verify it and we have gone. This is what we have done and... We want to believe by the time they're able to get them a shop and a house, they'll be better and they'll be able to produce and fed for these children. So with that being said, you need to ask yourself, what are you doing to assist your neighbor, the little guy beside you, the youths around you, to get them empowered, not just to give them handouts? Yes, because what's you can do in life is not just to keep giving people fish but teach them how to fish teach people how to fish so when you see people going through challenges just try to say what can you do to be better i'm here to help you and without additional words like mr cetros can tell her what they want to just give is to give you this thing <clears throat> and they don't they don't have any other good thing they want they just they just want to control everything that goes into you no no but no. anyway never mind my clientele the bottom line is that this uh, parents that are currently taking care of this triplet by the time they have their store in place will come on this channel and show you what and what and what they are doing so that people around that vicinity you can patronize them by doing that you'll be able to put money into their hands and they will know that what it is good to do business transactions so that they can continuously be able to fend for their children that will be what will make a very happy home okay that's just it on today's show comment in the comment section below until we come your way next time don't forget the joy therapy the joy therapy cures it or cures it or whatever is happening around you just make sure you don't lose your joy and for your information when i say hug your spouse 16 times per day i did not say go all the mile because you might end up having six plates <laughs> <laughs> so that's just it. In case you're not subscribed, please subscribe and press the notification bell. And you may like to watch this video or this.